सो हे गैस मैन एम इज रमन एंड वेलकम टू वेबी डिलीटर चैनल एंड वी विल यूज लाया पिक्स थ्री डी कन्वर्टेड टूल विच इज द ए आई ड्रिवन टूल विच लेट्स योर टू डी फाइल्स और एनी इमेज टू द थ्री डी फाइल इन वन क्लिक सो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कवर हाउ टू डू इट effortlessly with different option and obviously to the advanced level so if you have a subscribed to this channel please hit that red button it will boost our morale to post more and more videos like this so without further ado let's get started so just follow the first link in the description box and you will be redirected to this page and you have to sign up for the free account because it's not available for the guest and after you sign up for the available account this, this is the canvas you will see and you have different options only one option is enabled which is deployed just click on upload and select any of your file or something like that so i will be choosing this file which is pretty standard file as you can see here and it will start analyzing it and start converting to the 3d file as you can see this is the pic from the back and as you can see th this is the object which is to the near and to the far so 3d is all about the near and the far three dimensional obviously so you can actually select which object of your pics to be your near and to the far so there is the settings which we are going to explore but if you want something like this then there you go so here we have four different settings this is the basic settings this is not the depth part so here this is the basic settings air is animation length so animation length if you want more just if you want to create a uh, gifs for more seconds so maximum seconds is 6 seconds as you can see it goes slow from left to the right as you can see here and there is a one second which i think which goes fast you actually don't need that so two seconds seems fine so here is the animation style so here you can move from horizontal to the wide circle or to the vertical okay and as you can see it is moving on the horizontal and if we click on the wide circle so it moves a little bit wider and if we click on the circle so it will just move as a basic part and if the tall circle it moves to the horizontally and it moves to the vertical upwards and go to the down just like this in the circular shape and there is a vertical just go up and down so here is the amount of motion so how much amount of motion you want if you click on the more it will just go faster so if we click on the less so it will goes just yeah a slower and in this effect as you can see that a person may be standing on the boat and bo boat is going up and down so it gives a nice little effect and there is a focal point so if you want to focal point to the center you can just click on the center such that the focal point will be center and if you want to create it on the far you can easily create the far and if you want to click the close you can just select that close so that's about the basic settings of it okay this is just the one person in the pic but what if there are two or three persons for that part we will select again upload and upload this this is the demo pics where we have the four girls here let them analyze that so as you can see there it is so what i am going to do i want the horizontally like that and there is a wide circle i don't want that so this is fine so i want a bit slower like this so this is just fine right so that's how you can apply on the multiple person like just like that so ai tool will automatically analyze your subjects or objects in the pix itself so it will you won't have a headache to actually do that so if you just want something like this then you are done right now you don't need to go to specification in upcoming minutes but if you want to learn it then keep watching this video so now we are going to the depth map so if you are into 3d animations or something like that then you may have known about the depth map which analyze uh, objects depth and you can easily create a near or far objects so here as you can see there are different op options available for you here is the depth which is far or near which object you want a far or near you can actually select that and how to do that what you need is there is the brush size you need to select so i will select the brush size to this So if we click on it, it won't reflect anything. But if I just move that to the far option in the depth part, if we click on it, you can see there is a black blur effect is there. This is to select the part which you want to be further. So what I'm going to do in in this example is I want them first, third, and fourth girl to be near, and this girl to be far. Just give it an effect to it. So for that part, what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a more opaque or i would say a more uh, opacity to it 
such that yeah it looks fine and the hardness you don't need to select it but i will describe what it is so let's just select maybe i overdone it oh uh, yeah so it looks just good and let me select that so i have selected this particular object to be far the black is in the far and the white part is to be closer to your camera angle so that's about it and if we click on preview so as you can see these three are moving right now and that particular object is just staying still so it's give a little effect there so if you want someone like i don't want this particular object to move just so you can just go to the depth map again and select the options which i've already told you if you if you want some object to be near or some subject to forward you can easily do that so i will just go again brush has to be i want them to be smaller opacity let me just add it let me add that quickly so if i click on the preview so it looks just fine so that's it and there is two more the picker you can actually pick that and the amount of level you actually want so this two option will be useful if there to the two object is contradicting okay and for example let me un disable the preview here if i want this particular person to be stay as a far or maybe a near so brush size looks good so it is the near so i don't need and i want this person to be far so let me just add a depth to it and something more like this this sounds great and let me start selecting it okay so here i want brush size to be smaller it works good with the help of the pen you can use if you have ipad you can just use that it will work flawlessly so i'm just using the mouse so pardon me if i'm doing something wrong here so that's it so if we click on the preview part as you can see so this particular object the fourth one and the first one is moving and these two is not moving at all so that two in the between is in the far and there is the sides are the closer so you can select the level here like how much level you actually want like if i click on it as you can see the level does rise here it just spread down so i don't think we need that let me just click on the undo and there is a picker also which you can pick as a object here just like that to define more or oh, let me just and for the picker part let me add more depth to the far object so this looks good yeah so if we click on the preview looks good so that's how you can easily edit the depth map and customize your 2d image to the 3d and just click on the save and you can share so there are many share options available for you and for the share part you have to you have various options like you can export it to gif you can export it as mp4 you can also export it as a facebook 3d image so let me give you example where it is so there you go so you can export that to gif mp4 lif sb as are the part of uh, 3d models so if you use any 3d software that will be available to you so these are the 3d formats and depth map you can only download the depth map and there's the facebook 3d which you can upload if you click on the facebook 3d it gives a guidelines to upload it on your facebook profile you can also use the share button but it will only give the share button to the tool itself So that's about it. If you have liked this video, if you have learned something from this video, click the like button. If you want to watch more of videos like this to learn much more about the other tools out there, then you can just subscribe to the channel. If you have some questions in mind, you have a comment box with you. So see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.